Hello everyone, it is index card time and this week this is what we're making. Little pocket right there to put your goodies in. You've got journal space up here. You've got journal space back here and this would fit nicely in a pocket and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Okay. Um, okay, let's get started. So I pulled out, here is going to be my back. Here is going to be the inside, strictly because I don't want to see white here. So we are going to glue, these are three by five cards. We're going to glue this one down. So I went ahead and I cut out a piece of three by five. I'm using the same card stock that I've used, whoops, for the last three videos. And I'm doing that because everybody loves them. So you love this. Somebody asked me what they were and I am going to have to see real quick if I can, let's see, this one is, let me just do this really quickly. This is Teresa Collins, and I don't have a name for it. Giving Thanks, I guess, that would be it. Teresa Collins Giving Thanks is this one here. Then, there. this is Amber and Apricot, Bird Song, I think, which would be, this was, the whole page was this. Um, and it had the birds on it. Amber and Apricot, Bird Songs. And by the birds, it would be this one here. And then, this one is uh, Graphic 45. And it is called, it's, what is it called? Ephemera Queen, Ephemera Queen Collection. So I don't know how old these were. So I hope that helps you out and I hope you can find them. So once you get these two pieces together, then we need a front. And for the front, I didn't cut the front. So, guess what we're going to be doing? Cutting the front. So, I've got my squeaky chair. We need a three by five. So, we are going to cut a three by five. This piece here. I figure as long as everybody loves this, why not use it? It is full. Three by five. And that's going to fit right on here. And you can see I took a nice divot out of that. And for that, I did use this. And I don't measure, guys. I just put that in there and do my thing. Do my thing. And I've got a squeaky chair. Okay, so we are going to glue the sides and the bottom. And if you want to, you can take this to the machine. And you can put your beautiful... Machine stitches on it. Oh, before we do that, before I get this down, we have to distress. I almost forgot. I think we're going to be okay. It's late here. It's like 6 o'clock. And I want to get this done. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Not quite as deep as that one, but beautiful anyway. Then we are going to distress these edges. So 
so pretty. I agree, this paper's beautiful, so yeah, why not use it? Why not, why not? Okay, and then for the top, for the, the fold over, I did take a um, index card and I folded it halfway between the uh, third and fourth line. And the reason I did that is because it is going to go down like this, just over the back. Now I know some of you may be saying to me, why didn't you just put it, sandwich it between the back index card and this card? And I looked at that and, and I just didn't like that little division. It, it brought this flap forward more than I would have wanted where this is like a true flap. It's hard to understand, but if you make one of these, just stick it down in between those and you'll see what I mean. I did not like that, but I did not want white index card showing above there either. So what I did is I took a piece of the matching cardstock and we're going to glue this on there. And because I couldn't get a exact measurement, we are just going to glue this on and then cut it. It's just going to be the easiest way for me to do that. I'm trying to get it so that it's right on the fold the way that we want it to be. And you can see, I mean, I've got a lot left over, so we're going to cut this off. Just follow your index card and then just trim the excess off of here like that. And then we're going to want to, the bottom will be covered, but let's go ahead and distress this little bit of white that I have. I didn't have that, I don't think, on the other. And then we might as well go ahead and distress the rest of this. So I hope everybody's doing well. My Tussie Mussy sold. I want to thank you for that. They are just a lot, a lot of fun. Okay, so what we're going to do is I don't like my, I like there to be some give. I don't like my flap to come all the way down because it makes it harder to pull things out of. I like it to be up just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead, and I might be able to cut, let's see how much of that there is. That's a lot. I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut some of this off. It seems to be much, much more than what I need. And then we're going to put a bead of glue down here because we're not going to put this all the way up. We're just, we're going to leave a little bit of a lip so that we've got space. Just like that. There we go. And you can round your corners if you want on this. I, th I had thought about rounding them off before and I didn't do it and that was okay. Then I've got a piece here. It's a little bit larger than what I'm gonna need. So we're gonna do some trimming. But before we do that, I am gonna go ahead. I know I'm gonna have a little bit of white showing. So let's go ahead and distress this and we can come back and distress some more later, but let's get this distressed. It's 
so cute. This is so cute. You know, the funny thing is I come up with these ideas and, um, but I don't do them when I'm creating a journal. Now go figure that, you know, why would that be? I have no idea, but I don't, it's just the weirdest thing. And my, yeah, I'm already starting to shed and I just put that on not that long ago. So I think let's go ahead and glue this. Because I know the other piece may be just a little bit bigger. And we're going to have to trim it. And that's okay. But this would be really, really, really pretty. With some sewing. So we're going to put this on there. As close to the top as we can. And you can see we've got a little hanging off, and that's okay. This will go in our scrap pile. This will show up again another day. Pretty little piece like that. And now let's just make sure that we are distressed. And we look the way we want to look. to put, let's see, did I do that? Yes, I did. We're going to put some washi tape over that because we don't want to see that line. So here's my washi. So we're going to go washi tape down Just like that trim just like that I need I need something soft to put this on because it just how about that I use that for my Artie Mays design team project Tim Holtz fabric just beautiful Look at how pretty this is. And you've got two places to journal. What could be better? Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. So you can journal on the back. You can flip this up and journal. Let's go ahead and do a little distressing right here. Okay, so we need, I went ahead and punched out, believe it or not, this was from a fall, um, I think I like that, this was from a fall paper. one side. Yeah, it is the other side of that. My husband's out cooking ribs. Our son's coming over to borrow the truck. We just got out of the swimming pool. And I 
was like, oh, I've got a few minutes. Let's make a movie and get ahead. Just get a little ahead. And let me see if I can release that. I think I got a little bit of distress ink, but it may not work. Oh, it did a little bit. Okay. Do the other side. Just get that on there like that. Make sure we're even. Look at how pretty that is. I mean, guys, it's just cute. Okay. Now I've got this piece here. I've got a uh, Tim Holtz die cut. And I used some embossing glaze on it. So let's put this down. this down kind of at an angle get the glue off my hands okay and then we have um, you know I don't know what these are called they're Tim Holtz but they're um, you know, I really should know this stuff before I show it, but they're these. And what I did is I distressed around them and then I used glossy accents. I think you can see the shine and I just kind of sealed them up. And that is going to go right here. They're uh, chipboard pieces. But because I took them out of their main packaging, I don't know what they're called. And so, guys, that is, that's it, really. Look at how cute these are. I would say another success story. Look at that. And so I am going to uh, give you a little surprise because I am gonna be doing some, some of these die cuts. I'm not, I'm going, I'm not going to be embossing them. I'm just gonna do, a uh, variety of a couple die cuts and I'm going to include them inside this envelope. So um, whoever gets this, make sure that you look inside because there'll be some die cuts in there for you. Just to play around with and have fun, but how cute is this? Isn't that just adorable? So this is our um, index card for this week and now I did have some people, um, I had a couple that did not respond. And so this is back, going back up there. And let's just, let's do this. Okay, this one, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping you are watching. Sherry. Harrington. I'm pretty sure it's Harrington. Harrington. Yes. Sherry Harrington. If you are watching, this little gem is yours. Just message me and Etsy. And then we have last week's here. And I didn't hear from anybody. So if you are watching... Lenny P's Place, if you are watching, this one is yours. Okay, guys, I want to thank you so, so much. Um, I think because I'm having trouble with um, people just responding to this, I think what I'm going to do is starting October 1st, I'm, I'm going to just start all over, and um, it doesn't matter if you've won or not. I will just start taking names from the comments. All you have to do is be a subscriber 
and um, I think that's fair to to subscribe to my channel in order to be able to um, win one of my designs. So um, yeah, that's all you have to do is be a subscriber, and uh, we'll just start all over come October first, whatever you know day that lands on for that week. Um, I will start taking comments. Um, from then on. So um, hopefully you like this. I will, um, I'm keeping Relic. I thought you probably would prefer Notes more than Relic. So Relic is mine. Notes is the one I'll be giving away and I will put some die cuts in there for you. So everyone take care of yourselves. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.